Did you know that Warsaw is one of Europe's emerging skyscraper cities? Its spectacular skyline of contemporary structures can rival the skylines of Paris, London, and Frankfurt. It is now home to the tallest skyscraper in the European Union. This neo-modern building located in the heart of Warsaw is a distinctive hub for travelers, businesses, and local communities. While it's exciting to know about this tower, there was once a view about Poland being no place for skyscrapers, and it's a remarkable comeback for everyone who misjudged the country. Warsaw's high-rise buildings we see today are the result of the city's revival from the destruction it faced during World War II. Today, we can say the city rose from the ashes and became one of the fastest-growing cities in Europe. Warsaw has announced that it has plans to construct more skyscrapers than any other place in Europe. There are now 25 structures taller than 300 feet, and 10 more will start construction within the next few years. The number of proposed skyscrapers seeking approval at this very moment would potentially bring the total up to 65. These constructions serve as a symbol of the city's audacious aspirations to become the most contemporary capital in Europe. The newest skyscraper to be completed in Poland is the magnificent Varso Tower and it is now the tallest building in the European Union. Standing 310 meters in height, Varso Tower has surpassed the Polish capital's famous Palace of Culture and Science which is located just close by. Varso Tower has also surpassed the Commerzbank Tower in Frankfurt, the former record holder for Germany in the EU. However, it's not the tallest skyscraper in the continent of Europe. Russia's Lakta Center still reigns supreme at a height of 462 meters in St. Petersburg. Incidentally, even if the UK hadn't voted for Brexit, Varso Tower would still just about scrape in as the tallest skyscraper in the EU because London Shard has an official height of 309.6 meters, a mere 40 centimeters shorter. The tower is designed by Foster and Partners Architecture Studio, and this skyscraper is their second high-profile skyscraper in recent weeks, following the completion of its 50 Hudson Yards in Manhattan, New York City. Varso Tower is located in central Warsaw on a site next to the city's Warsaw Central Railway Station, and forms part of the three-tower business hub called Varso Place Development. The buildings stand on a 4.3-acre site on the corner of Kmielna Street and John Paul II Avenue, which was acquired by the developer H.B. Revis in 2011 for roughly $36 million at the time. The project's original name, Kmielna Business Center, was eventually changed to Varso, which alludes to Warsaw's Latin name Varsovia. The Varso Tower is officially open for business now. The first tenants have already started moving into the building. Ultimately, the building's user list will include such firms as Cloud Specialists Box and international law firm CMS and Greenberg Trorik. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion-dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Construction on Varso began in December 2016, right after the developers received the building permission. At the construction site, a 60-ton glacial erratic was unearthed in October 2017 at a 10-meter depth. It was taken out with the aid of a specialized crane and moved to the field of Mokoto, where it stood next to the National Library. In the future, it will be repositioned and put on display close to Varso Tower's entryway. A 130-meter skyscraper was what was initially intended to be constructed, but Varso Tower now stands 310 meters tall. The building itself is 230 meters tall and it is the 80-meter tall spire atop the building that concludes the height of Varso Tower at 310 meters. The tower reached its maximum height in February 2021, when the spire was raised atop the structure. Engineering company Burrow Happold and architecture and construction firm Epstein worked alongside Foster and Partners to construct the building for real estate developer H.B. Revis to use as its headquarters. 
Varsal Tower is part of the Varsal Place Complex which consists of three structures across a total area of 140,000 square meters. Varsal 1 and 2 are two structures with heights of 90 meters and 81 meters respectively. Foster and Partners created the main tower and HRA Architecti created the Varsal 1 and 2 structures. The entire project has cost about half a billion dollars to construct. Borough Happold has conducted an extensive sustainability study for Varso Tower, forecasting the performance of mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems up to three decades into the future and using these projections to determine the tower's installation. The 53-story skyscraper houses 70,000 square meters of premium office space for HB Revis, local and international companies as well as a number of startups. Floor plates benefit from large spans and 3-meter ceiling heights for open-plan office working. The offices are served by two banks of high-capacity double-deck lifts, with each car serving two floors at any one time. A private viewing deck for office tenants was inserted at 177 meters. On the ground level, the lobby has 14-meter tall ceilings and a 10-meter high ceramic artwork done by a local artist which brilliantly animates the space. The social heart of the project is a plaza enclosed within a glazed screen, animated with full-height trees and benches for people to enjoy the surroundings. This space is known as the Urban Room and it forms the point of seamless connection between people who work in the offices who may use it as a sit-out during breaks, and the public, to access the shops and restaurants in the neighboring buildings. The public realm continues at the top of the tower, accessed directly from the ground via two panoramic lifts, with a viewing platform at level 53. This is the highest inhabited floor in Poland, with uninterrupted views of the city. Level 49 will soon offer a fully landscaped terrace bar with 16 trees, breaking the record for Warsaw's highest garden. This embodies a key part of the project which is its greenery. Varso Tower's timeless slender design is emphasized by the terrace-forming steps near its summit, while the facade's vertical divide brings lightness and elegance to its character. The skyscraper has received the Breen Green Building Standard for its relative energy efficiency, and its finish in high-performance triple-glazed glass, which reduces its solar heat gain, while rainwater is collected to be used for irrigation. Varso Tower serves as the gateway to the new business park development, the Varso Place. Whether by metro, tram, bus, commuter rail, or bike, Varso Place can be easily accessed from anywhere in the city. The project is located near stops for a few dozen bus and tram lines and the commuter railway station. The lobby connects directly to the Warsaw Central Railway Station which offers quick links to the main airport and all major Polish cities. Warsaw Place is a short walk from both Warsaw Metro lines, and there is also a convenient car park for 1,000 vehicles. If you are a rider, you will enjoy as many as 750 bike stalls at Warsaw Place along with a dedicated entrance, locker rooms and showers, as well as brand new bike paths in the neighborhood. The tower is expected to be bustling with activity and will feature extraordinary rooftop public spaces, and it will become a hub for local and international business as well as a symbol of modern Poland. It will make a significant and positive contribution to this wonderful city. Now that Warsaw has housed the tallest tower in the EU, things will change for Poland as well as the European Union. The Varso Tower Complex is shaping up the ground for more skyscrapers in the city, and we hope that it will inspire many more meaningful construction projects across Europe. What do you think about this mega project? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.